MGM Resorts International says it has been hit by a cyber attack. Now to the cyber attack causing havoc at MGM Resorts nationwide. I don't even want to pay with my card right now. I'm scared that they're going to hack all of our information. A group of hackers stole a whopping $100 million from one of the world's largest gambling firms. And many people call this the biggest cyber attack of its time. But is it? Over the course of 10 days, this cyber attack breached the private data of customers who used the firm's services before March 2019. The hackers didn't just skim the surface, they dug deep, accessing everything from basic contact information, like gender, date of birth, and driver's license numbers, to more sensitive details like social security numbers, passport numbers, and passwords. The total haul? Over $100 million. To truly understand the gravity of this fraud, we need to explore how hackers execute a cyber attack. Imagine this. Hackers infiltrate a network and install malicious software known as ransomware. This software encrypts the victim's file systems, effectively locking them out of their own data. The hackers then demand payment, threatening to release the sensitive information if their demands aren't met. Now put yourself in the victim's shoes. You're faced with a dire dilemma refuse to pay and risk your customer's data being leaked, or pay up, hoping the hackers will honor their word and delete the stolen data. But let's be real. Paying the ransom is often just a desperate hope that the hackers will do the right thing, even though they probably won't. But here comes the big question. Which firm fell victim to this audacious attack? Who are these hackers? And how did they manage to penetrate such a secure system? It all started on September 11th, 2023. MGM Resorts International, a titan in the world of casinos and luxury hotels, made a revelation that sent shockwaves through the industry. A cyber attack was wreaking havoc on some of their computer systems across the United States. The sophisticated breach was more than just a glitch. It was a calculated assault aimed at the heart of their operations. See, MGM Resorts International isn't just a company. It's a gaming and entertainment conglomerate with 28 destinations worldwide. The $14 billion company is most famous for its iconic hotel and casino establishments, especially in Las Vegas. In case you don't know, the firm has tens of thousands of hotel rooms in Las Vegas at properties including the MGM Grand, Bellagio, Cosmopolitan, Aria, New York, New York, Park MGM, Excalibur, Luxor, Mandalay Bay, and Delano. Anyway, the trouble started when MGM detected the cyber attack a day earlier. Without wasting time, they swung into action. First, it ensured its IT team working tirelessly to isolate the affected systems to protect customers' data. Then it notified law enforcement and engaged cybersecurity experts to investigate the breach. In a letter to customers, MGM Resorts CEO and President Bill Hornbuckle stated that the IT outage was part of the firm's rapid response to the attack. We responded swiftly, shut down our systems to mitigate risk to customers' information, and began a thorough investigation of the attack, including coordinating with federal law enforcement agencies and working with external cybersecurity experts. Unfortunately, the cyber attack hit the firm's 12 casino venues on the Las Vegas Strip, including the Bellagio, and led to significant disruptions. The firm's main website and mobile app went down. Online reservations stopped working. ATMs, slot machines, and credit card machines were out of service. Everything was literally down. As a result, they had to switch to manual operations, slowing down service and causing long lines. Guests who were eager to enjoy their stay and gaming experiences couldn't make credit card transactions or withdraw money from ATMs. Some couldn't even use their key cards to enter their rooms. Employees were locked out of their corporate emails for days. Even the entire section of slot machines at the firm's casinos was taken over, as reported by the tech news website 404 Media. All of these issues only came to light when customers took to social media to complain and express their concerns about the security of their data and information. They posted images showing slot machines with error messages and long queues at hotels in Las Vegas. However, despite these efforts, it took several days for all the systems to return to full operations. While the systems were inactive, 
MGM made sure it kept its guests and the public informed through regular updates, especially on its social media handles. In addition, it provided alternative solutions for affected guests, like manual check-ins and cash transactions. But even with the efforts, the disruption led to frustration among guests and hurt the company's reputation. Eventually, a hacking group known as Scattered Spider, affiliated with the Russian ransomware as a service group called Black Cat, also known as Alf V, claimed responsibility for the MGM cyber attack. Scattered Spider had been involved in some of the biggest hacks in the past year, including those that involved Reddit, Riot Games, and Coinbase. In short, they're a skilled group that has caused a lot of trouble for big companies. In the attack on MGM, Scattered Spider managed to break into the firm's computer systems to steal sensitive information by encrypting more than 100 ESCII hypervisors, which are crucial for running virtual machines. The encryption locked down important servers, making it very hard for MGM to operate normally. But that's not all. The hackers are also masters of social engineering. This particular method involves manipulating people into giving out important information that can later be used to easily hack a system. After a 10-day attack, CEO Hornbuckle announced that the firm's domestic operations were stabilizing, and almost all the systems guests use were back to normal. In other words, things like room keys, payment systems, and reservations earlier disrupted were working again. While we experienced disruptions at some of our properties, operations at our affected properties have returned to normal, and most of our systems have been restored. We also believe that this attack is contained, Hornbuckle said in a letter to customers. To be fair to MGM, it took a huge effort from the firm's IT and security teams to get everything working again despite the disruption. Hornbuckle added that they not only fixed the disrupted systems, but also made them better and more secure. But there were some concerns. First, MGM refused to disclose how the attackers managed to breach its systems. Second, it didn't reveal the number of customers affected by the cyber attack. The lack of detailed information left people worried and wanting to know more. However, MGM assured its customers that the perpetrators didn't succeed in accessing the most important data. In fact, to further show how much it cares about its customers, the firm notified affected customers via email and offered them free credit monitoring and identity theft protection services. The free services were meant to help protect customers from any potential misuse of their information. At least, that's enough compensation for private information theft, considering the assurance that customers' payment information was not tampered with. Interestingly, MGM bought cybersecurity insurance, which they say will be sufficient to cover the financial impact to its business as a result of the operational disruption. So, even though the attack was costly, MGM won't have to bear all the expense alone. But there's also some bad news. In a filing with the Securities and Exchange Commission, MGM said it believes the data breach will negatively impact its third quarter financial results, particularly in Las Vegas. However, MGM expected minimal impact in the fourth quarter and operational results for the year. In other words, while the attack hurt their business in the short term, they are confident that things will return to normal in no distant time. As said earlier, MGM got a huge hit from the cyber attack. They reported a $100 million loss in earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, repayment, and rent for its Las Vegas Strip resorts and other regional operations. To put it simply, after removing certain costs, MGM earned $100 million less than expected. On top of that, it's expected to incur charges totaling less than $10 million, covering one-time expenses. These expenses include legal fees and technology consulting, both of which are costs related to fighting the cyber attack and improving their systems after the attack. The firm also saw a drop in hotel occupancy in September, falling to 88% from 93% recorded for September 2022. And of course, you should know the cyber attack was the reason for the drop. Customers couldn't make bookings either through MGM's website or mobile application because the systems were down. And with the booking system offline, Many potential guests couldn't reserve rooms, leading to fewer people staying at the hotels. Think about it this way. Fewer hotel guests meant less money spent in the casinos, shops, and restaurants. 
so it's not strange that the decrease in occupancy had a ripple effect on MGM's overall earnings. And MGM wasn't the only casino giant hit by hackers that month. Caesars Entertainment, a Reno-based company and global leader in gaming and hospitality, was also hacked by the same group of hackers as early as August 27th, about two weeks before the MGM attack. According to Reuters, the hacking group claimed to have stolen six terabytes from MGM and Caesars Entertainment. That's a massive amount. Just to give you an idea, six terabytes can hold millions of documents or thousands of hours of video. Caesars Entertainment is the largest casino owner in the world, with over 65 million Caesars Rewards members. They also have properties in 18 states and Canada under the Caesars name, making the data they lost very valuable. A cybersecurity expert who runs an online repository of malware samples called BX Underground shared Reuters with information from the hackers. According to the information, the group's representative claimed they did not intend to publicize the stolen data. If that's the case, then they were possibly looking for a ransom or other benefits rather than wanting to leak the data online. Here's what anecdotal evidence revealed about how the attack on MGM was carried out. The group of hackers used sophisticated techniques to breach the systems. They likely used social engineering, which involves tricking people into giving out important information, like passwords. In the case of MGM, they used a help desk employee. MGM help desk, how can I help you today? Hey there, my name is... I tried logging into my account this morning, but it just won't seem to let me in. So I was just wondering if I could get like a password reset or something. With the information obtained from the employee, the hackers could gain access to MGM's computer systems, bypassing multi-factor authentication controls from identity management company Okta. And once inside, they stole sensitive data and encrypted key systems, causing widespread disruption. Meanwhile, the security vendor Okta had earlier warned about a surge in such attacks over the past year. Many of the attacks were traced to scattered spider, also known as UNC-3944, or Muddled Libra. The group has been notorious for using advanced social engineering tactics to infiltrate large organizations. Despite these warnings, it's quite unfortunate that more and more organizations fell victim to the group's skilled social engineering schemes. We cannot imagine how companies could still be tricked into giving out sensitive information despite being aware of the threat. Beyond the casino world, many other companies have also suffered different cyber attacks. Take Clorox, for example. Clorox is an American global manufacturer and marketer of consumer and professional products, including bleach and many other household products. It also recently reported a cybersecurity attack after discovering unauthorized activity on some of its IT systems, suggesting hackers had broken in. The attack caused major disruptions for Clorox, especially concerning its operations. There were significant shortages in some of the notable products and delays in order processing. Consequently, the company couldn't get its products to stores and customers as usual, heavily impacting their business. In fact, Clorox projected a net sales fall of between 23% and 28% for the first quarter of 2024. In simpler terms, they expected to make much less money than usual because of the attack. Again, the attack on Clorox and its impact show how damaging cyber attacks can be, affecting not just big companies like MGM, but also household names like Clorox. From what's revealed by MGM's CEO, the firm made a bold decision. Despite the substantial economic repercussions the cyber attack caused, it refused to meet the hackers' ransom demands. And it wasn't just a spontaneous choice. The Federal Bureau of Investigation, or FBI, had a hand in it. They advised MGM against paying the ransom, and the company listened. The FBI doesn't mince words when it comes to ransom payments. It mentioned on its official website that paying a ransom after a cyber attack doesn't guarantee the return of stolen data. Instead, it encourages the hackers to continue their illegal activities and target other victims. In essence, the FBI is on a mission to put an end to the practice of paying a ransom and discourage cyber criminals from committing more attacks. But while MGM followed the FBI's advice, Caesars Entertainment reportedly took a different path. It opted to pay $15 million to appease the hackers who had breached its systems and threatened to release customers' confidential data. According to the Wall Street Journal, the amount paid was about half of the initial demand, that's $30 million. 
Most likely, Caesars negotiated the payment down to half that amount. Nevertheless, both MGM and Caesars Entertainment faced a series of federal lawsuits over the cyber attacks. The response of MGM and Caesars highlights the difficult choices companies face when dealing with cyber attacks. While MGM stood firm and refused to pay the hackers any ransom, hoping to discourage future attacks, Caesars decided to pay up, albeit negotiating the demand down. To Caesars, it's best to quickly resolve the threat and protect their customers' information, even though it wasn't sure the hackers would delete the stolen data. Of course, both approaches have their risks and benefits. While MGM's choice was in line with law enforcement advice, even though it came with significant financial and operational disruptions, Caesar's choice was aimed at swiftly mitigating the immediate threat, though it might encourage more ransom demands in the future. Several security leaders have shared their views on the impacts of the cyber attack, especially on MGM. For instance, Ann Cutler, cybersecurity evangelist at Keeper Security, said that the ramifications of a cyber attack of that size are far-reaching and long-lasting. She explained that such a significant attack can force an organization out of business. Bud Broomhead, CEO at Viacu, holds a similar view to Cutler. He pointed out that no company is too big to hack. However, the critical issue is a business that is too resilient to hack. He believed MGM would have learned from the attack so they became more resilient to attack in the future. According to Omri Weinberg, co-founder and CRO at Do Control, no company can ever be fully protected as hackers will always find new and more sophisticated ways to attack. However, he expressed his concerns over the refusal of MGM to clarify the extent of damage caused by the attack. Finally, the MGM cyber attack reveals how vulnerable big companies are when it comes to crafty cyber criminals. Plus, with younger generations like Gen Z involved with such cyber attacks, companies must step up their security game to avoid being at the mercy of hackers. And that brings us to the end of the story of the multi-million dollar hacking on MGM Resorts International. If you found the story interesting, kindly like and share the video. And remember to subscribe for more videos. Bye for now, and we'll see you in the next one.